Hey everybody, my name is Zach Elliott, founder of The Legal Drone. Today we are looking at a part 107 test question that will help you understand how to read a sectional. Okay, so let's get right into it. This question will help you understand how to read a sectional. I'm going to read through the question, then I'll read through the three options, and then we're going to walk through how I would go about answering this question. So the question says to refer to figure 20, and it asks, why would the small flag at Lake Drummond in area 2 of the sectional chart be important to a remote pilot in command? The first option says that the flag indicates a GPS checkpoint that can be used by both manned and remote pilots for orientation. The second answer says the flag indicates a VFR checkpoint for manned aircraft and a high volume of air traffic should be expected there. And the third response says the flag indicates that there will be a large obstruction depicted on the next printing of the chart. So then what I would do is I would refer over to figure 20 and find area 2 and find the flag that is located at Lake Drummond on the map. So it's going to look something like this. And you'll see right in the middle is Lake Drummond. And there is the flag that it's talking about. Once I saw this, I'd probably flip over to the sectional legend to see if I can find a picture of the flag itself and see what the legend says about that image, see what it means. So here, although as you can see in the small red circle, it does show the flag. It doesn't really give us too much information about what the flag itself means. So it's located under the miscellaneous section. That's not really that helpful. And it really just shows you a picture of the flag and then indicates that the flag itself would have some sort of name out from it. And so at this point, I would probably flip back over to the question and I would reread the answers. The first option says that the flag indicates a GPS checkpoint. And while that's probably true, I think I'd be a little bit skeptical of the fact that it's a GPS checkpoint because the map we're looking at is a VFR sectional. So VFR would stand for visual flight rules. So it's a visual flight rules sectional or some sort of a ch sectional chart or a map that a manned pilot would be using when they're flying using visual flight rules. So I'm not really sure that I would understand why it being a GPS checkpoint is helpful when the rest of the map doesn't really provide a lot of GPS related information. The other thing I don't like about this option is that while the checkpoint could be used by both manned and remote pilots, sectional charts and the information that they provide are typically geared more towards manned pilots and not remote pilots. And I know this is a really fine distinction, but that's the other reason I wouldn't like this answer. So we're going to skip over the second choice for just a second, and we'll come back to it after we review the last choice. Uh, the last choice says that the flag indicates that there will be a large obstruction depicted on the printing of the chart, the next chart. But we already know that large obstructions typically have their own symbol or set of symbols, and so I would flip back to the sectional chart and see that there's a whole section of obstructions. So having a flag that would indicate a future obstruction wouldn't really make much sense, especially since all of the symbols for obstructions actually show altitude or height or grouping or specific things about the obstruction. And here we don't have anything like that. It's over top of a lake and it just has the name of the lake. That's all it provides us. It doesn't provide us any altitude or height or indication of how high the future obstruction will be or anything like that. So that's why I wouldn't like that third answer. The second choice says that the flag indicates a VFR checkpoint for manned aircraft and a higher volume of aircraft should be expected there. That one seems accurate because like I said before, this map is a VFR sectional and a VFR checkpoint would make sense. It would also make sense that something like a lake would be a checkpoint for a manned aircraft because they're going to be using ground references for points of reference when they're flying. 
So that's the logic I would probably walk through with this question. And I would end up doing away with the last option and the first option. And that would obviously leave us with the second option. And this is our correct answer. Um, I hope this was helpful. If this video helped you at all or was, was helpful to you at all, please do me a favor and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this one.